Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lemurak, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program for a little bit of a an excursion from the usual schedule. You'll probably have noticed you're a regular viewer, like all, maybe three of you. You'll probably notice that I haven't been putting out Kerbal Space Program videos recently. I just, I got other things on the brain right now, but uh, I decided to pop back in for a little bit because it is currently uh, roughly around now the 20th anniversary of StarCraft, one of my favorite games of all time. I played the original StarCraft like a bunch of times back when I was little. It's one of my favorite video game stories, actually. I think it's got a really good story. Not so much StarCraft 2. I'd say most of those stories were garbage. But anyway, I too want to celebrate it in my own way. Um, the game's been around for 20 years, and I figured let's Let's do some Kerbal Space Programming with StarCraft stuff. One StarCraft thing in particular I figured that I would like to give a shot. Um, probably thinking, oh, Battlecruisers, Valkyries, Wraiths, no, 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 no. Let's try flying a command center. Uh, did my best to uh, craft a Terran command center based on how the original looked. This is, this is, uh, this is my design here. Eh? What do you think? Not bad, huh? It weighs just under 400 tons, and I'm gonna see if I can't fly it. Uh, I had to custom build the lander legs, because uh, you just can't find lander legs this size without using mods, and ever since I reinstalled Kerbal Space Program to the, uh, to, to the GOG version, I haven't been using any mods, so... So, let's, let's go give this a shot. Looks like this is gonna be fun. Okay, so, uh, so far the good news is that it survived the drop. I, I'm always worried that it'll not survive the drop, but it's, it's holding together so far. It didn't, look at it, look at it. It's, looks like a little command center. All right, so, move this mouse out of the way. I shall activate my SAS, which is already in motion for some reason. Still using my flight stick, by the way. And I'm going to activate the engines. And for this first test flight, let's just see if I can take off. See if the thrust should be enough because the thrust to weight ratio is high. So I should, should be able to take off. Let's see how much thrust it requires. All right, here we go. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's taken off. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm going to try to counter steer I just I just want it to hover nope 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 no 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 oh I mean I'm flying I'm flying a command center so there's there's that I put like a ton of reaction wheels on the and there it goes Okay, so um, I'm gonna call this like a uh, a work in progress. Let's give it another shot. So I've decided to rid us of the stick, I'd rather just use the keyboard and mouse controls for now. Let's see if we can't get this running. So thrust it seemed like we needed about two thirds thrust to lift off the ground. I'm gonna put it like that. Let's try this again. Yep. All right, that's enough to lift it up. Now, obviously, the vessel is asymmetrical to a degree, which means that it doesn't, uh... Oh, dear. Alright. I don't want it to... I don't want it to fly, necessarily. Just just hovering is good enough for now. I want to try to gently counter-steer it towards the retrograde direction. That should keep us... Here, okay, now we're falling again. Still falling. Oh, dear. Nope. No, 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 no. Alright, we haven't lost control just yet. I'm trying to hit that, that, that thrust sweet spot. And it does require constant input. Something that is just a thing 
Okay, we're, we're flying a little too high now. I don't know how high uh, command centers are supposed to fly, but... Yeah, we're still going up. Most of that is still momentum, I think. So we're just going to have to wait for gravity to do its thing. Okay, so, I mean, it flies. It, it burns through fuel like a, like a Hummer does, but... Now the question is, can I also land it? So that's going to be the next thing. I'm just going to try and put it down somewhere. Looks like I hit the. Okay, let's 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 get back down. Let's get back down. I'm gonna try and kind of counter steer, or actually, let's see if I can't uh, see if I can't maneuver it towards the. Uh... If I can't maneuver it towards the launch pad. Very gently tip it in that direction. Very gently. Alright, there we go. We're going up again, strangely. No! Okay, there we go. I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing control. It's alright. We got six reaction wheels. Nope, it's flipping. I have, I have the button is, is mashed. And, yeah. Well, alright, we tried. <laughs> For now, and we just observe the beautiful disaster. We could use some help here. Darn. Who'd have thought this is so hard? Video games make it look so easy. Okay. Uh, take three. I've been trying to think back to, uh, to the StarCraft games. And to my recollection, I don't think the original StarCraft command centers, like the Terran buildings that can fly, had any uh, any thrusters. Like the thruster effects were specifically added to the StarCraft II graphics. The original StarCraft uh, buildings, they just kind of hovered. I mean, using thrusters just makes more sense. Okay, we're moving over KSC. I'm still going to try to get us over to the... Uh, get us over to the launch pad. I'm losing control again. The thing, I can't... When it starts to move too quickly... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, it's, it's gone. I'm starting to get it, though. I think I'm starting to understand. Let's watch another explosion. Base is under attack. Alright, take four. Okay, the trick to flying this baby is... For the most part, it's gotta be like... You gotta be pointing straight up. And just kinda tilt in various directions to... To move it. Even if you look at the StarCraft II... Uh graphics for the, the command center and you'll probably notice that it doesn't have any side mounted thrusters. All of its thrusters are on its butt. Which means well, now we know it can land which means that um, it has to achieve its uh, well, likely has to achieve its directional thrust using the the, the thruster gimbal right? It's just kind of, it's kind of got to tilt its whole body slightly in a certain direction to gain momentum. So let's try that. If I do this a little bit, that should, like that, and then I just straighten right back out again. There. Now I'm kind of consistently moving in that direction, right? That's how it's done. I just kind of let it fly. Look. I'm a command center. Woo! Also explains why they move so slowly, right? Because most of their most of the, the the command center's fuel supply for its thrusters is used to uh, maintain altitude. Slowly, kind of gotta. Yeah. 
being carried by our momentum this time. So I'm going to now kind of steer in the retrograde direction, just barely, but I don't want to... I never want to really maneuver this command center. Okay, the button is maxed down now. I have, I have the S key pressed down, and it is just flipping. Yep. So apparently when our horizontal speed reaches like 40 meters per second or something, this kind of stuff happens. So that's another failure. Again. And kaboom. Okay, so I, I think I got the heading this time. I'm, I'm losing control. Losing control, I gotta slow down. Gotta keep an eye on my horizontal speed, make sure it doesn't exceed. Uh, no, no. Okay, we're, yeah, we're lo I, I lost it again. I lost it again, but look, we're heading right for the launch pad. So, you know, easy does it basically is the rule here. Okay, we're, we're going a bit too fast now, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. Just got to kind of gently steer against our heading. We're going too fast. Already going too fast. I think I might be too late to slow us down. Nope, nope, okay. I still got it. Still got a hold of it. Oh, I'm not quite. We're going to... We might bump into KSC. I'm going to give us a little bit of extra thrust to try and lift us above it. Yeah, okay. We narrowly avoided that. Alright. And now comes the part where I'm going to have to start slowing down. Directional movement. Alright. Okay, we're tipping too far. Tipping way too far. Okay, got to move toward the retrograde direction. Slow us down. Okay, it's working. It's definitely working. Come on. Come on. Okay, I slowed us down too much now. Just land it. I'm so close. I am so close. I'm hovering now, basically. So we gotta kind of tilt us in that direction and then just hold it straight. Increase the speed. We're moving up too far. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Set it down on the launch pad. Not quite. Let's move it. Here we go. Tilting too far! Tilting too far! Tilting too far! Landing sequence And we were apparently closer to the ground. We were apparently closer to the ground than it would have first appeared. So, uh, maybe just one more try? Heading forward at three meters per second. Keep leveling the thrust. Get this way. Straighten out. Okay, now we gotta slow ourselves. No, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Way too much, way too much. We gotta lift back up into the air a bit. We're right above it. Just. Nope. Nope. We landed in the middle of a fiery inferno. But I mean, uh, technically this counts as a landing. The uh, I lost the, the lander legs. Everything else is fine. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, since I have demonstrated my ability to hit the target, uh, I guess I would now just like to kind of see if I can't also set it down somewhere. Like, just set it down, as a command center is supposed to. Just touch the ground. 
That's all I want. Touch down on the ground and get those SCVs working. Gotta do it nice and gentle like. Oh dear. There we go. Job finished. Did it! Okay, the thing can touch down now. You know, as 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 per usual, we start hear the hearing the whirring of the uh, the whirring of the the SCVs as they go to start drilling for their their minerals. Now, the one last thing that I want to try out is uh, well, why don't I just show you? So the next thing that I'm wondering is can a command center get out into orbit? Let's let, let, let's give that a try. It'll presumably run out of fuel long before that. I'm still curious. Or I suppose more prominent a problem is that I just can't control it at high speeds. So yeah, uh, that concludes that question, finally answered. So now I'm gonna cheat. Okay, so one cheat later. We are currently orbiting Duna, since these command centers are technically, I believe, dropped down from orbit. At least that's what it looks like in the StarCraft 2 game. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and set this, set this baby down on an alien world from orbit. See if it can be done. Air resistance is starting to become a problem. The uh, wing flap that I used as the, the boarding ramp is going to be pulling this vessel in this direction constantly. Gonna have to counteract that. The Duna's thin atmosphere should help out here. This is gonna be our uh, Kerbal Space Program version of Char. Doing pretty nicely. Alright, we're getting close now. Rate of speed declining at a very nice rate, 3,000 meters above the ground. This is looking pretty good so far. Looks like we got ourselves a very nice little landing site. As I as I expected, the uh, wind resistance is starting to be a problem. We're still heading downward. All right. I know we're getting pretty close to the surface, so when we slow down below 15 meters per second, and then in order to not destroy the lander legs, I think we gotta land at like below seven meters per second, ideally. Bit too slow. Too fast. Still a bit too fast. I'm not going to bother trying to maneuver. Let's just land. center is down on uh, char. This is totally char, right? Not Duna. All right. Well, I'm going to call it there. This has been a very hard and strenuous process for me. Uh, so, yeah, happy birthday to StarCraft. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Attention passengers, the local time doesn't matter since you'll all be dead soon anyway.